So apart from posing the Turing test that we all know in the 1950s, Alan Turing asked a few interesting questions in the same paper. He said, can we build a machine that could play chess to a reasonable level? And we know the answer is yes. And then he said, can we build a machine that can teach itself to play chess and then profit from its own experience? And that system is, is AlphaZero. AlphaZero is an adaptive learning system which uses a deep neural network to teach itself how to play chess through many rounds of self-play. One thing that makes AlphaZero special is its ability to um, achieve the level of play that it does uh, in any kind of a board game without any human supervision. So the pre-existing systems, they were relying on uh, domain knowledge that was produced by human experts over the years. And what AlphaZero enabled as an approach is to just uh, take a step back and approach the game from a fresh perspective, where the AI itself effectively decides what is and isn't important in terms of assessing the position or playing a move. And that allowed it to transcend some of the limitations of uh, previous approaches. During the course of the project, Ulrich Paki and Nenad Tomashev got approached by Vladimir Kramnik, a former world chess champion and one of the best chess players of all time. My part of it was to try to understand uh, the improvement which is happening when AlphaZero is uh, learning how to play chess. And maybe, maybe through that, if we manage to understand it fully one day, then we can also understand how to people learn. In terms of selecting the rules we've chosen, this was done in conjunction with Vladimir and his expertise. So we wanted to tweak the rules of chess without changing the appeal of known opening position or opening start position. So we picked rules that um, are atomic rule changes. Some of these suggestions uh, were simply of theoretical interest. For example, if there were no stalemate as a drawing resource in a position, would this make the game sufficiently more decisive for why to reduce some of the drawishness that is happening in high level play? Or rolling back to the 17th century saying, what would have happened if castling wasn't ever incorporated as a move in the standard chess rules. And I think what we've seen is that even these small simple changes can have drastic consequences that alter the dynamics of play entirely. Uh, the beauty of AlphaZero is that we can prototype and let AlphaZero self-learn and discover what incredibly strong play would be like for each of those rule alterations. So what kind of impact did the chess variants have on the diversity of moves. This is actually a very, very important question because you don't want to introduce a variant and let players master the game only to find out that the game is actually really dull. You want players to have the same or larger option of moves available to them. These added options actually overall, in many cases, increase the diversity of play, which suggests that rather than restricting the game and, and making it be less rich, uh, we believe that a number of the variants we prototype actually make the game potentially more rich and therefore more fun to play. Contrary to previous AI chess programs, which might pit man against machine, AlphaZero is a story about man with machine. So, and I've playing chess for 30 years, almost on the professional level, that I uh, start to feel like I'm a pupil now. I'm a pupil and, <laughs> and this um, machine is, starts to teach me, you know, like a boy in the primary school, you know, okay, I'm fine with it. It changes the way we think about AI as, a, as something that we should compete against to something that becomes a creative tool that could be utilized to explore things that we would have never been able to explore before. Learn more in the February 2022 Communications of the ACM in the contributed article, Reimagining Chess with Alpha Zero.